Well, he was rolling. So let's hear this funny shit he gonna talk. I guarantee you it's gonna be hilarious. I don't think Fandora can beat Charlo. He would just smother his punches. But anyway, Ruler Romero's here. Thanks for watching, guys. Take your time out. Like the video, subscribe, and teach through controversy with 5v360. And, and be looking to dethrone Trevante Tank Davis. And, you know, Rolando Romero currently in the building. He's going to be jumping in the ring to work out. And after he's done working out, we're going to talk with him and have a full eight conversation. I'm going to ask him about a variety of different People topics. saying that, that he's like on the short bus. Why is he predicting a first round knockout? And we will try to analyze and get his thoughts as we are 11 days. Oh my God, why got to be a stupid motherfucker? Hey. Don't you bully me. How dare you, Bobby? You need to grow up. You're better than this, man. Come on. All access this Saturday night. You do not want to miss it. It is Showtime All Access. As now we will go over and watch Rolando Romero get ready to wrap his hands as he is always uh, dressed and has a unique sense of fashion and style. And once he's done working out, we'll talk with Roly himself and get his opinion on his adversary, Trevante Davis. And I'm actually going to ask him, I'm curious to see if he's going to stick by his prediction of a first-round knockout over Trevante Davis. That all to come here as you are watching the Rolando Roly Romero workout here on the Showtime and the PBC social media pages 11 nights away from Fight Night from Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Ray Flores here at the Fame Mayweather Boxing Club here in Las Vegas as we will dive further into detail and look at and examine Roly Romero as he prepares to work out here in Las Vegas. Got a um, story here from Boxing Scene on Charlo Castaño too having the highest ratings that PBC and Showtime have had in three years. That's some very, very positive news. Let me pull, the, pull it up on the screen here for you guys. No, don't you joke with me. Don't you take it back now. You didn't went too far, Bobby. I don't play around like that, man. I mess you up. These numbers here, let's see. Those numbers were the highest for Showtime since Wilder first round knockout over Dominic Brazil. Wow. Yeah, because these ratings have been shitty. But you know what this means? That's not good for us. That's not good for us. Don't worry, Bobby. You're my mate too, man. Hey, that's not good for us because you know why? Because now they're going to try to put him on pay-per-view again. They're going to be like, oh, shit, he can sell. So let's put his ass on pay-per-view. Nah, nah, don't do it, Showtime. Because that's what these high ratings mean, that they're going to try to pay-per-view his ass, and we deserve better. We deserve better. Damn, they put all this filler in here, Keith Eidick. My bad, I was reading the cards. But yeah, man. Let's go listen. The strength and conditioning coach, you get these guys shredded. They're unbelievable athletes, but they become superior athletes under your guidance. Let's talk about Rolando Romero and Gervonta Davis. What has been the theme of all the camp? Listen, first of all, let me say I'm super excited for this fight. I mean, super excited. For those who don't know, Roley has wanted this fight for the length of time I've ever known him. So it's finally he gets an opportunity to get what he's been looking for. He's excited for it. And for those who are watching, if you haven't got your pay-per-view purchase yet, you're going to want to buy it because I can promise you 
It's gonna be. Uh, Tank be wearing like heels. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna pull up the uh, face off. Distance. I can promise you that. And the uh, the bad blood is real. This is not fabricated. They both don't like each other. This is true. You know, both these guys have history. And when you've got two guys under the same banner, Mayweather promotions, and I guess each person wants to be the king of that division, not only of that division, but the promotion. And when you got personal history like that, it makes things a little bit, give you a little bit more incentive to get the work done. So Roley has trained his ass off. He did not take this lightly. He got a second chance at success. So we're looking for him to do something amazing that night. He put all this effort into it. So if Javante or anyone else thought this was going to be an easy fight, they're wrong. Do you think that the physicality, because Roley Romero comes from a judo background, and he is unorthodox, and people say, well, technically, he's not doing things correctly as he would see Since when did Roley know karate? That, his that makes sense, right? He do like a karate you kid. Well, first of all, he does do things by the books. It just looks different, right? And that's what people have a problem with. He doesn't have to be standard. He Hold on, I'm trying to get you to see um, my bad. I don't know why. I feel yeah, they think he's not in line. The reality of it is, if you look down at all the people in that division, you're going to have a hard time finding a guy who's as explosive as he is and can throw power the way he throws power. So you're going to get to see all that that night has been so vocal and has been poking the bear that is Javante Davis. I've never seen anybody try to play the mental games and these mind games with Javante. Has that made Roly Romero work that much harder compared to any other camp that you've been with him? Well, he's worked hard every camp, right? And he definitely put a little extra effort into this camp. But who's to say those are actually games? You know, you said they're mental games. A lot of that stuff Roley believes. You know, he's he's been living this for a long time. He feels like he has something to prove, and, and this is his opportunity. So a lot of things that he says, he actually feels deep down inside. Now, there are some times when he's joking and having fun with him, but for the most part, when he tells me or tells you guys that he's not a fan of this guy, he's serious. When he's telling guys he wants to knock this guy out, he's serious, and that's been his focus from the very beginning. So there's nothing fake about that. Coach Wade, how do you see the fight going down next Saturday, May 28th, 11 days from now on Showtime Pay-Per-View? A knockout. Definitely a knockout. Coach Larry Wade joining us here as we continue to watch Roly Romero work out ahead of his lightweight showdown with the gold on the line against Javante Tank Davis from Barclay Center in Brooklyn. I was trying to get a shot of uh, Tank Davis's uh, shoes. But yeah, um, on one of these joints, I don't know if it was this one or the last one, he was wearing some uh, some questionable lifts in his shoes. That's a classic short person tactic. They like to fucking disguise that shit in the feet. But yeah, they're having some clipping issues over there um, on the live stream. This is live from uh, the Mayweather Gym. Remember, these guys were supposed to fight earlier, but um, um, Roley had those sex deviant allegations. His name is pretty much cleared, from my understanding. And yeah, he's able to, uh, he almost got his ass canceled. Yeah. Yeah, plat platforms, that's what they call it, platforms. Like Floyd did it when he fought uh, Conor McGregor. During the press conference, he was wearing those platforms, those lifts, so he can look taller, and, and Conor, was clown Conor was clowning him for it. So now we are with the esteemed trainer of Relax. Nah, this is next weekend on pay-per-view. I thought that was John Lee Guizamo in the back. Coach, thank you so much for joining us as we are 11 days away until, until your pupil steps inside the ring for the biggest fight of his life with the lightweight world championship on the line against Trevante Davis. How's camp been? Camp has been extremely great, really good, every aspect of it. This has been a camp where there is such a belief from Roley and you 
that you guys believe that you're going to be able to knock out Trevante Davis. Let's talk about the animosity between the two. Uh, where does it all stem from? Well, it all stems from just being a big businessman. You come to Vegas to spar, you show up to spar. That's it. And then can you, for those that don't know the story, can you tell us about what happened? Was it the fact that I always believe that the truth lies somewhere in the middle, but from your perspective, what happened when it came to that sparring? It's just, uh, you know, if you if you do a, make a deal with somebody, you say, okay, I'm going to meet you here at a certain time. Be a man and just show up. So you guys are saying that Gervonta Davis did not show up to sparring? Twice. Waste our time. Twice. So twice. It wasn't just once, it was twice. Twice. But I think it's the beauty of this fight. He don't know what to expect now. He don't know what he's in there against. So instead of us being kind of like, okay, that should happen, we're glad it did happen. So because of the fact that Roly Romero comes from a judo background, that he's physical, he has a unique style uh, to him inside the ring, do you think that is going to give Gervonta Davis problems next Saturday, May 28th on Showtime Pay-Per-View? A lot of problems, more problems than he's ever seen in his career. So where do you feel that the advantages lie for Roly, not just with the physicality? Well, he's very hungry. He's I'm very I'm doing it for you. He's his intangible, like you said, and I do with physicality. The intangibles, the will, the willingness to win. The one that goes in and press the fight every time the bell rings. The one that wants to be the other guy. That's what's gonna make the winner. Where do you feel has there been you know, because of the fact that Roly is an underdog, do you guys pay attention to that? Do you give it any sort of, you know, acknowledgement or does it not play any mind? There is no such thing as A side, B side in boxing. It's all in the fighter's head if somebody can manipulate you to believe that you're a B side. If you step into that ring, you got every chance to knock him out as anybody else. You know what I'm saying? It goes either way. Whoever, like I said, whoever has the will to win will find a way to win. Do you think that Gervonta is underestimating Roly Romero? By far. The whole world of boxing underestimate Roddy Romero. And why is that? They keep him out of every conversation. When they talk about the top four guys and top five guys in the lightweight division, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty much like, oh, where's Roddy's name? He's number one WBA, but you talk about Ryan Garcia, you talk about Pitbull Cruz. What the hell is that? You know what I'm saying? Get this man some respect. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So you believe that because he's not mentioned in the conversations that already he's coming into this fight with a chip on his shoulder? Oh, we got a major chip on our shoulder. I got a chip on my shoulder as a coach. So I know my fighter. I know I know it's mine. He has a lot to prove to the world. He's going to prove it. How would you say that training camp has been in the sense that you don't want to overexert your fighter? With a lot of emotion being involved in this fight, it's easy to keep pushing, pushing, pushing. How do you make sure that he stays fresh for fight night? Uh, we, we just it's just another day in the office every day we just do what we normally do you know we're just preparing for it hey, you know when you go into a fight a lot of people try to prepare for the guy's last fight or how he fought some other guys you can't prepare for somebody that's going to fight Roly I mean or Roly can't prepare for Tank to fight like he fought somebody else they got to prepare for each other you know what I'm saying and that preparation really just basically is conditioning strength mind strength and mind toughness because in the ring he's not going to show Roly would have showed the people he won't stand there to get punched. How would you assess Gervonta's last performance against Isaac Cruz? Um, he won. I mean, that's how you assess that as boxing. And also, Roly Romero, my final question to you. The entire team has said one round knockout in favor of Roly Romero. Are you sticking with that prediction? That's Roly's energy. That's what he feels. Me, I'm ready for one or 16. Because I know he's ready for one or sixteen. They're the one that's gonna gas out, not us. They, oh, he wanna think about one one run knockout, third eyes. Well, like Tank said, listen, bro. <laughs> if you step in and feel froggy, you're gonna sleep early. If you wanna box and run around like a little girl, then that's what we're gonna do. Twelve rounds, just for you. Have you thought about what a jam-packed Barclays Center in Brooklyn is going to be like when you guys make your ring walk? Yeah, of course. It's gonna be electrifying. It's gonna be a, one of the greatest moments. In a light with division and the greatest moment of Roly's life, you know what I'm saying? And his boxing career. It's going to be monumental. It's huge. Uh, we're not nowhere near um, trying to play that down like some people. We know how big it is. It is huge. Well, Bullet, good luck to you guys. We look forward to seeing you next week during fight week. Thank you. Bullet Cromwell, the esteemed trainer of Rolando Roly Romero, back to Roly's workout here in Las Vegas.
here, I'm gonna knock him the fuck out. You've been scared of me. I think Davis had called that dude Booker T. You know what? The hell with it. Next week is gonna be Rolly's World. That's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna bet and gamble on Rui Romero. I got five bucks. Five bucks on Rui. Who's with me? See, Rui, he's a combat sports technician. Not only does he know karate, but he's a boxer, too. Tank never seen this type before. Tank don't know what he's getting himself into. Got a bad feeling about this, man. Got a bad feeling. You know, certain strains of marijuana lead to paranoia. Got a bad feeling. You know, all it takes is one shot in this sport, man. Remember how Marquez had knocked out Manny Pacquiao? Remember Deontay Wilder had knocked out Fury, but Fury came back from the dead. Remember, Dimitri Bivol beat Canelo. It can happen, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that glove. That's all Roley need is that one hand. Tank Davis got to be right all 12 rounds. All Roley need is 30 seconds. And Tank Davis is trying to leave. Uh, I'm going to put a conspiracy theory out there. Tank Davis is trying to leave TBC and Al Heyman. Or trying to leave, not Al Heyman, trying to leave Mayweather Promotions. So what if they try to set him up? We've seen these cards lately. What if they try to set him up? What if Roley's the new golden child? Hmm? What if Roley's the new golden child? He's the money man now. He's the one that's going to put an end to the one. Tank Davis. How do you destroy a tank? We, we, we got to put a mine down. You got to open up the hatch, throw a grenade in it. Hmm? Call the Incredible Hawk. He always flipping them tanks. Roly here to take the throne. Who's going to stop him? And then he's going to go for Devin Haney and George Cambosos. They're finished. They're all finished. This is Rolly's world, baby. You're watching the Rolly Romero workout as... The unbeaten light on some real shit though. He done walked Champion. around like for the last like five Takes minutes. On Gervonta Davis for the lightweight championship of the world next Saturday, May twenty eighth, eleven days from now, live on Showtime pay per view from Barclays Center in Brooklyn. All brought to you by Mayweather Promotions, GTD Promotions, and a TGB Promotions, presented by Premier Boxing Champions. If you are in the Brooklyn area and if you never been to a prize fight, or if you have, there is nothing like a big fight at Barclays Center, especially on Memorial Day weekend. You can't tell me Roley don't look like he don't got a chin. It'd be the fighters like him who got a chin of stone. I guarantee you, you can hit him in the fucking face with a bat and he ain't going down.
You like, is that all you got, bitch? You hit like a little bitch. Bad blood between the two. As these two do not like each other, there is certainly quite a bit of animosity between Gervonta Davis and Roly Romero. Both and Roly look like he's strong as fuck, too, so he got a chin and he's strong. And he know karate. Tank is finished. That's it. That's it. I got, you know what? I'm putting $5 down on Roly. Turn that into 25 bucks real quick. Easy work. Smart investments. I don't know how to put this And I'm gonna buy two Powerball tickets. That's it. I'm I'm putting the house on rolling. This is why we don't give a motherfucker technology, man. Rolly is the new face of Mayweather promotions. Here we go. Watch this display of speed and power. He about to let these mitts have it. I hope his trainer's hands are ready for the beating they're about to get. Go ahead, Roly. Go to left hook. Look at that. Good speed. But this, this is a little bit of a slow start. This is a little, little, little slow start. We don't want to show all, all of what we have in the war chest until next week. This is all a delusion. Mm-hmm. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Oh. That's way too fast. Be careful, Roly. Don't show him too much, baby. Don't show him too much. There you go. Whoa. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know what? Nah, don't show him too much. Nah, nah, don't show him too much. That, that, that's it, coach. That's it, coach. Got to cool him off. This is it. That's what I'm talking about. See, when has Tank ever seen power like this and size? Tank was having issues with one foot, one shoe Gamboa. Roly would have got him out of there and won. Shotgun. Double barrel. Remember, we're going to be here for all you naysayers. We're going to be here next week. All y'all talking shit. Never been in the ring. That's all y'all do. Never been in the ring. Always talking shit. Coming for you.
Oh no, boxing therapy, you got it wrong. The future is rolling. Look at that sneaky piston, piston like jab. Low tank won't be to see it coming. Tank gonna get his ear. See, Roller can beat you anyway. All right, we are going to be joined alongside. He can, he can, by the he can jab your ears off. Contender, he knows karate. Rolando Roli Romero. He can beat you with the left hook, right hook up. To the body and to the head. Excellent body work. You saw what he did to Anthony. Can you dig it? Yig it. We're going to talk with him and get his thoughts on him. His and then what was it? Miranaz didn't want the rematch. Look at him fizzle. Boxing and, and mixed martial arts is the only sports where we look at other men's bodies and be like, look at him. He looking good shape. He's chisel. He ain't looking dry out there. Well, this is it. Oh, he's putting the show on now. Come on, Roly. Turn it up on him. to not be intimidated a little bit. Come on now. Tank knows better. He knows what he's seeing. That's how he gonna walk Tank down all night. Tank will be able to do nothing. He don't have nothing for that. Tupac is back. We are awaiting Rolando Roli Romero as he will take on Gervonta Davis next Saturday, May 28th from Barclays Center in Brooklyn. As you see, Roli Romero currently in the ring right now. We are efforting him to get... Exactly. Unlimited. You're right. It's unlimited. He knows it, he knows it all. He didn't forgot shit that tanks already Next learning Saturday night on a showtime pay-per-view look look where you know what they need they need those floaty tube things and just throw them at Rooley right, and he'll just dodge Rooley them all Romero right now as we appreciate him and the, and the hat from that Katie Taylor and Loma wear with the ball on it and I gotta say, Roly, you look in impeccable physical shape as you are with. All right, here's the goal. Here it is, the good stuff. Roly, is this the best you've ever felt heading into a prize fight? Man, I always feel good every time I go into a fight. I always feel good. So this fight with you and Javante Davis, no love lost between you two. How much do you dislike Tank? I don't like him as a person. I think he's a piece of shit person. 
And honestly, he's going to get his ass whooped because he's a fucking piece of shit for the sport, too. Yes. What did you take away from the press conference that you had with him about a month ago at Barclay Center in Brooklyn? Did you take anything away from the stare down and, and you guys going back and forth? Roley coming to clean up the sport. No. He's just, it's just a bunch of nervous energy. He ain't saying shit. He, he's not even, he don't even think he'll knock me out. He can't do shit. He, he a bitch. Why are you so confident? You said during the press conference, I'm going to knock him out in one round. As we're 11 days away until you step inside the ring against the hard-hitting Javante Davis, the undefeated Javante Davis. You're also undefeated. Are you sticking with that prediction of a one-round knockout? One round. If I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Why is that? What do you see? What do you see in his game that you feel you can? Let me, let me ask away? you this: Tell me a fight he don't get punched on by smaller dudes that have no power, no nothing. Tell me a fight. I'm way more accurate than everyone he's ever fought. Way more explosive, way stronger, way bigger than everybody else. So I mean, it is common sense. One key component to your game that I feel like you don't that you do compared to other lightweights is that you're physical. You come from a judo background. Do you think your physicality is going to play a factor in the fight? No. He's going to get knocked out from the first point that he eats. So why? I know you mentioned about that he's shorter than you. Do you think that your reach and your height is going to be a, a factor into your benefit? I mean, of course. But I mean, like I said, he's just going to run right into something he's small. So this, the bad blood from what I gather stems from the fact that they were supposed to be sparring. It didn't happen once. It didn't happen twice. Is that where all this bad blood sort of manifested itself? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, if I say I want to spar somebody, I'll spar somebody, right? And like, I mean, he sh he he ducked me twice even then. So, I mean, I've been calling him out since 2017. The reason why the fight's made is because I want it, not because he wants it. He don't want the shit. If we wish, he could fight some other 126, 122-pounder. It took you some time to get this fight, and lo and behold, now you have it. Isaac Cruz fought him back in December. What was your assessment of his fight against Isaac Cruz? He got his ass being to show that he's extremely vulnerable and that he's scared of people that can crack. You have Joel Casamayor in your corner as well. He has yeah, been yeah, in yeah. the ring. <laughs> El Campeon himself. How much of a benefit has Joel Casamayor been to you in this camp? And Joel's very confident in your abilities. I mean, I mean, just watching him, you know, he's a slick southpaw, you know, so, I mean, I learn a lot, you know, especially on, you know, moving around and all that stuff, you know, being accurate. I mean, he's been in my corner even when I was amateur. He's seen me knock out so many people in the amateurs. Joel, what makes him special? Good, good. I'm ready, good. Ready for the fight. Now, Roley, if you could give one message to Gervonta Tank Davis right now, you're both undefeated. The lightweight championship of the world's on the line. Showtime pay per view, jam packed. Here you go, Tank. I hope you're listening. What do you want to tell Tank right now? I don't got no message for his bitch ass. I only got these fists. Rolando Roley Romero, ladies and gentlemen, joining us. Don't miss Rolando Romero, Gervonta Davis, Leonard Ellerby. Bad blood. We love big fights. But I love big fights with blood. It's definitely bad. bad blood. Does it get any hotter than these two? No, it, it doesn't. Um, he's been asking me for this fight for like three years. Every time he see me, he's been asking. He want to fight Tank. Want to fight Tank. And now's the opportunity. You know, we right we right here, close to the fight. He's in terrific shape, and I expect it's going to be a terrific fight. And Leonard, also one thing that people fail to realize is that. Roley has a high knockout percentage. We know what Tank can do, but Roley has a high knockout percentage as well. So two heavy hitters getting inside the ring at Barclay Center. Most definitely, and that's that's why I tell all the fans, this is a very dangerous fight for both guys. Um, you know, Tank is one of the best fighters in the entire world right now. He's very slick. He has tremendous skills that he hadn't had a chance to really showcase his boxing skills. Everyone knows he's a tremendous puncher. And when you look at Roley, like I said, he does some things that uh, are very different. He's an awkward fighter, um, but sometimes that those kind of things work to your advantage. Um, I've seen awkward fighters be very successful, um, just to name a couple. Ricardo Mayorga, Juan Rodon, um, Marcos Madonna. Um, I'm glad you brought the name Mayorga because Roley reminds me of the lightweight version of Mayorga, yes, but being here from Las Vegas. Yeah, yes, yes, he does. Saki Obika. You know, just, you, you know, it's sometimes it's hard to prepare for guys who aren't the traditional, you know, guys to, with, with their styles. So, again, it's going to be a, a very, very entertaining fight, and I expect this fight to end definitely in a knockout. 
Leonard, I've known you for well over a decade, but the one thing I noticed when Floyd was in his prime doing his thing is that anybody that fought Floyd became a name. Now we're starting to see that with Javante Davis. Look at what he's at Cruz. His name elevated because he was in the ring and he fought valiantly. Now, Rolando Romero, Roley, people are talking about Roley. Is that what we're starting to see, that Tank's name is so big that now his opponents become a name when they fight him? Well, that's what happens. And, you know, again, I reiterate, Tank's one of the best fighters in the world. And um, he's a big-time attraction. And everyone wants to come out and see him fight. And, and, again, so any fight that he's involved in is a big fight. My last question to you. I know that the pay-per-view is going to be off the charts, but how many ticket requests are you getting from NBA players, from hip-hop artists? Because Tank and Roley, this fight is transcending and is getting into mainstream pop culture. Almost oh, definitely. I mean, I, I've gotten so many calls <laughs> daily, you know, but there just aren't going to be enough tickets to go around. Um, there will be hundreds of people waiting outside thinking they're going to be able to not going to happen. Yeah, tell them motherfuckers no, freeloaders. A jam-packed, sold-out event, and it's going to be a tremendous fight between two excellent fighters. That's a man who knows how to do it. The CEO of Mayweather Promotions, Leonard Ellerby, on behalf of Rolando Romero, Edis Landi Lada, Jesus Ramos, and Luis Arias Amre Flores saying so long from Las Vegas. 11 days from now, Memorial Day weekend, Tank and Roly on Showtime pay-per-view. Do it. Listen to this man because he's been around a few big fights or two. We'll see you guys next week in Brooklyn. All right, that's the end of the uh, media workout. Um, here is the undercard for those who are interested. Not a good one. Uh, $74.99 on uh, Showtime pay-per-view. Tank Davis versus Rula Romero. Laura. Here is Lindy Laura versus Gary Spikel Sullivan for the WBA regular belt at um, um, middleweight. The winner is going to be the mandatory for Golovkin. Jesus Ramos versus Luke Lucas Santa Maria. And then you have Eduardo Ramirez taking on a Luis... Um, Melendez, ill, not a good undercard, ladies and gentlemen. But at the same time, we are paying for seventy-five bucks to see Tank Davis versus Roley Romero on the weight. Roley is talking, you know, confident fighter. You know, let's go look at his resume real quick. You know, confident fighter. But you know, is he? You know, like for one, you know, like does he have the chin? You know, like can can the chin hold up? You know, that's something to talk about. 14 and over 12 KU, 26 years old, listed at five foot eight. He has stopped his last two opponents. Jackson Miranez, um, they offered him the rematch. He didn't want it. I mean, you know, in reality, you know, like, dude, I mean, he's not trash like people try to say he is. You know, it's just that he is an awkward type of fighter, very confident. But, you know, when you're dealing with Tank Davis, I don't know, bro. Like, dude, even though he does have some flaws, you know, last couple of fights, you know, he was in, so he was in really tough with Mario Barrios. It wasn't until the second half of the fight, the last quarter of the fight, is where he had to come back to get the knockout. Then Isak Cruz um, took him the distance in a very, very tough fight. But at the same time, Isak Cruz was a late replacement. The Leo Santa Cruz fight, well, you know, Leo Santa Cruz decided to throw the same punches, you know, three times and got his ass KO'd, times and KO'd. But it is time for Tank Davis to do something. And I wonder, like, what can PBC do for Tank Davis after Roley Romero? What can they do for him? Because all the big fights are either with top rank or the zone. You know, they're in a similar situation like Crawford was with top rank, where it's like, yo... Like, we have all the fights, you know, and it doesn't help that PBC, you know, well, Mayweather, for real, has went on the record multiple times to say they're going to keep Tank Davis in-house. So when you look at it on the PBC side, what could they pull off for Tank Davis, an uh, in-house fight, an uh, in-house fight? And they're talking about Ryan Garcia. I don't see it happening. You know, Ryan Garcia belongs to the zone, you know, and the zone is going to want some type of peace or money to let him fight over on Showtime. I just don't see it happening. So, Cambosos and Haney are in a two-way deal. They're going to fight in June and then probably sometime in November or December. So, that's all the belts at 135 already taken up. So, let's say he fights Roley, beat him. Who does he fight for his second fight this year? Who does he fight in 
October, November, December if he beats Roley Romero. A fight because remember they want to keep him on pay-per-view. So of course they're gonna to try to pay-per-view that shit. I don't want to see him versus the Eastside Cruz too. No, I don't want to see it. No, not right now. Like, nah. Um at 135. You know, maybe, I mean, we already seen that PBC likes to put fighters who lose in a fight on pay-per-view. Maybe Tank Davis versus Gary Russell in Baltimore or in D.C. somewhere. Maybe. Um, I'm looking for fights that they can make. I don't see anybody. I'm talking about in this political landscape. I don't see anybody. You know, unless he wants to test the waters. Remember, that was that little Keith Thurman thing going on. Unless they want to do him versus Keith Thurman. Maybe Tank wants to, you know, chase greatness there and go to 147 to test the waters. Who knows? Try to punch Keith Thurman in his stomach. But yeah, you know, if Tank Davis after Roley is not going to fight a Lomachenko or a Ryan Garcia. Let me see. Gary Russell, I'd be cool with Shakur Stevenson. I'd be cool with, but we have a chance. We have a better chance of seeing Shakur Stevenson versus Loma, you know, before. I don't see it. But listen, let me get up out of here. Uh, we're going to be here tomorrow. Um, I forgot what press conference is tomorrow. We got what media event is tomorrow. Well, I'm going to go take a nap, um, do some food prep, and then um, down, I'm back with boxing for the week. Tank versus Ugas. Ugas is out for a year. You know, remember, he got his eye socket broken. That's at least nine months, you know, like to a year. Like, he ain't going to be back for a while. You know, so, you know, don't see that at all. But I'm up. I'm getting up out of here, guys. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe and teach you controversy with uh, Fight View 360.